Hello and welcome to this Assessing Population Health short video tutorial on how to download and upload your new updated local health profiles. Two weeks ago, Public Health England updated their long health profile website and because of this, they no longer provide the long health profile in one single report. They now provide two reports, a long health profile report one and a long health profile report two. So we're going to show you in this video tutorial how you can access that website and how you can download these two new health profiles. And these are the health profiles that you need to use going forward and to make sure that your assignment is using these health profiles rather than the single 18 page health profile that was originally provided uh, at this website. So first of all, open Google Chrome and then go to the website localhealth.org.uk. As you can see, it gives you this new interface. And so this is the new updated website. And while the data seems to be exactly the same, just for consistency and to avoid students being confused with some students saying, oh, my long health profile is only one report and other students saying, oh, my health profile is in two parts. We are asking all students to do this so that uh, the assignments are marked using the same set of health profiles. So if you go into reports, you will see you have the report profile. You can go into maps here, uh, but I think you can just go into reports and that's simple. Now you can see here, this is not for your local authority. This is for Wooler. Uh, uh, ward. So we don't want wards, we actually want something different, we actually want lower tier local health authorities. So the simplest way to do that is to change this to lower tier local health authority and to go into search. Now you might see the search box automatically and that's totally fine, so you click search you go here, you type in Hounslow or your own local authority that you're interested in. As you can see, here it is. The first one is the lower tier local authority 2013. So this is the 2013 boundaries. You've got the upper tier local authority 2013, which in this case is exactly the same as the lower tier one. And then you've got the middle super output area uh, 2011 boundaries, the ward boundaries for 2018, and the clinical commissioning group boundaries for 2018. So we want the first one. So we're going to click on Hounslow now. And you can see here it's changed already to Hounslow, lower tier local health authority, local tier local authority, apologies, compared with England, which is what we want. Yeah. So you can see here it says report one, and you can see here it says report two. Yeah, and you can see the website changes when we use report two. Yeah, and you can see here report two. So what we're going to do is go click on report one first. Go to the report. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes you will see it, it doesn't show the full thing. Just be patient. Just click back in so you can see what I did there. It wasn't showing properly, so I went to another page, let it create that page, and then I went back to population, and hey presto, it's appearing correctly. Yes, so the first thing we need to do then is to download report part one. So this is the long health profile report part one. So we're going to print all report. And just to bear in mind, while it says print all report, it is printing the whole of report part one, yes, as it shows there. So you're going to go to print. Yeah, once it's ready, you're going to go to print. I'm going to save as PDF. Yeah, you don't want to go and print it, you just want to save it as a PDF. Yes, and then you save that. And where you should save it is in a folder called APH, Assessing Population Health. And then I'm going to change 
the details here yeah because I don't want all that uh, that's quite confusing I'm going to put Hounslow now I can actually put my student ID first yeah so you could do that by putting your student ID first Hounslow long health profile report one 2020 so that's the first one done save that now if I want to check it I can go into file explorer and here it is in the assessing population so I have a folder called BSC HPPH and within that there is a folder called APH and within that there it is and so you can see here it's got 10 pages page 1 of 10 I can go through that yes and I, I think you'll find that most of the indicators are the same as the ones that you might have previously looked at within a single document so that one's done nicely the Hounslow image and the map has not come out correctly but that's okay I'm now going to press back so I go back to here I'm going to click report part two here and then again I don't want the map I want the report again it's taking a bit of time you can see some of the details are not appearing don't worry about that just click away from it to another report then go back into that original report and you can see again hey presto I think because this is a new website I think they're having a few teething problems so please be patient think about it do not just print it or save it as a PDF without checking that you have got all the information here yes go to action again print all report and again you have the same thing you can see here report part two again Hounslow lower tier local authority LTLA 2013 compared with England yeah so again you're going to do print save as PDF save and I'm going to copy this f file name but I'm going to change the one to two save okay so that's done you've got that again let's check if you want to check uh, that we've got the correct one you can see here again it has the same but, but you can see here that's different so this is report part one so again the start is the same but you can see here page two are very different and again I'll go through that this is nine pages so you can see here total it adds up to 19 pages and if you excluded one of the maps you can see it's about 18 pages which is what your original older version of the long health profile uh, uh, the number of pages that were in that one yes so again it looks to be mostly the same set of indicators it's just unfortunately you can't download them in one whole mega report you have to do it in two parts okay so you will have to then reference them in two parts as well report one and report two as it's written there in the file name okay now remember you have to put your student ID in front so we know whose uh, health profile this is so you should be going one two three four five six seven whatever your student ID is and then again the same one two three now I'm not sure if the lecturers have asked you to put your names in just so it makes it easier uh, in which case your names might go afterwards or before this please check with the lecturer as concerned okay so you've got that one and then the second profile which will has stayed exactly the same but please just check it is on the fingertips website that's why I like to call it the fingertips PHE website so I type in fingertips PHE and it's the fingertips public health profile and as you can see the website name is fingertips.phe.org.uk yeah actually it's a government website but I think they call it .org.uk to kind of separate it from the main government website otherwise I think they would be allowed to put .gov.uk so what we need from here is the local health profiles which I think are here the local authority health profiles click that there just checking yes and then again put 
Hounslow in here or your what your local authority is and here it is 2019 so I'm going to download the report here and here it is there it is a much shorter profile than previous years uh, for example there used to be much more detail on deprivation in previous years oops I'm just going to refresh that because the map has changed so I'm going to, I, went, I, I refreshed it so the map appears as I want it to appear and I'm going to download this profile I can print it but obviously now you can see here that's not what we want we actually don't want that so don't do that I've seen a few students have accidentally done this they've clicked the download button on the page unfortunately as you can see it's not in PDF it's a HTML that is not what we want yeah so don't use this print this profile yes you can that's what you want to do you want to print this profile and then when you print this profile then you save it as a PDF and save yeah so just again just to confirm do not download this profile because it's not in the correct format it's in a web page format HTML is a web page format that's not what you want you want it as a PDF yeah you can't change it as you can see here so you go to print this profile save as a PDF and then save again and again I'm going to just use this and I'm going to change it to short health profile I'm going to remove the report and 2020 because it's a 2019 short profile and I'm going to save that yeah okay so let's check that I'm going to check in my file explorer you can see here I've got the two long profiles part report one report two and then I've got the short health profile 2019 PDF yes and then I also need the deprivation um, map now the easiest way is again to for all of these links is to go to blackboard yeah go to blackboard go to assessing population health and use those this make sure that you don't use the wrong ones yeah but you can search for them yourself so here it is this is the link where the information is where the map for deprivation is so I'm going to go directly there again you should explore these websites you should have a look at them don't just go directly to the links play around with them see those other links that I've put that we've put there as a teaching team you the point of this module is for you to be comfortable accessing the full range of information that is available from Public Health England the more uh, time you play with it you look at it you you mess around and try the different buttons and try the different things and think about it and find out more information about what this means what income rank means what employment means in relation to deprivation the more learning and the more insight you will have into these indicators so as you can see it's downloaded but you can see here it's not downloaded properly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to what i need first just to make sure so it's hounslow again so you will change that to your own yeah your own local authority that you're interested in as you know hounslow is the one that we're interested in um uh you can see here it's come up yeah it's 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 come out correctly there is a map of Hounslow with deprivation the darker bits are the more deprived areas and the lighter bits are the less deprived areas okay and so you've got here the local authority rank you've got the score the de deprivation score and then you also have uh, the proportion that are in the first top 10 percent if you like the first decile lower super output area I think we are only looking at the top one at this stage but again it's important to understand what this deprivation rank score means yeah it's really important you can see here the number of LSOs lower super output areas that are in the most deprived 10 percent nationally so it's important to think about these things so you're going to print this so this one you print by going here to these three dots here and by actually going to print here in Google Chrome and then checking and you can see here it's quite nice but what you could do is you could actually change the layout to landscape to make it slightly bigger so when you print it out to have a look at it 
it's at a nice size yeah so that's what i would advise you to do what we as a teaching team would advise you to do change it to landscape make sure it's save as pdf rather than print and then again save yeah and so you save it and again i'm going to use this to just shortcut the naming process i'm going to call it deprivation profile deprivation profile 2019 because it's using the 2019 index i might even index i i might call it iod 2019 yeah just to confirm that it's the index of deprivation 2019 uh, figures or information that i'm using so i'm going to save that because that will last for the next five years or so and then you need to upload your profile and this will go in a slightly different location it's 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 in a folder within the original folder that you used so if you go down um all this material will be changed in terms of the long profile uh so please don't worry about this but go all the way down and there will be this video as well will go up there so go to the point where it says how to upload the four health profiles yeah so if you go down to where it says how to upload the four health profiles and if you click on this link and then click again it will take you to this place APH health profiles click on that it might automatically take you there as well and then please put it in and there's a little readme folder oh sorry f word file again going through what you're supposed to put in so it's four profiles now the long profile report one the long profile report two and the short profile <coughs> Okay. This is just to help students understand that there's four profiles going in and what those four profiles are. Okay, so I'm going to upload them now. Files. I'm going to go to folders. APH open there we go at the top so you can see how you're supposed to do them this is what you're looking for okay I hope this is helpful um, you will be going through it in class so hopefully you will be sorted out very very soon thank you very much for watching cheers bye